I figured another thing we should go check out is NSG flow logs. So down below, we have NSG flow logs and they, it's not enabled by default. So what we'll do is create a new NSG flow log here and we will go here. We will have to choose a storage account. Uh, this account must not be empty. So we'll have to create a new one here. This will just be Ryza. Uh, Ryza storage account. Uh, only lowercase, that's why. Let's see if it'll take that. It probably has no issues there. Maybe I just doesn't want the hyphens. There we go. It's already taken. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how it is, but we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's not taken, great. And we will put this in the same Ariza security group. The LRS is fine because we do not need anything super fancy here. Okay, and so that just created there. Um, and so now down below, retention is only available with V2 storage accounts. That's totally fine. I didn't notice what we chose. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a V2. Um, I don't know if it gave us an option. Uh, flow logs versions, we have versions one and two. Uh, version one logs ingress and ingress IP traffic flows for both allowed and denied. V2 provides additional throughput information, uh, bytes and packets. Version two sounds good to me. Traffic analytics provides rich analytics and visual uh, uh, visualization derived from NSG flow logs and other Azure resource data. Drill down to go through that. That sounds kind of cool. Um, I think what we'll do is go check box that on. We're gonna set it for every hour. I'm not sure what traffic analytics costs. I'm just gonna go check Azure very quickly here. Uh, and if I scroll on down, traffic analytics. It's based on uh, uh, gigabytes consumed here, so we'll be okay. And so I'll enable that there. Uh, one every hour seems fine to me. I'm gonna do every 10 minutes because we don't have a lot going on here. We already created a workspace earlier. Uh, if you have not, you can go ahead and make one, but this one is called Ryza Log Workspace. We'll go ahead and create this one here and go ahead and create that. And we will wait for this to deploy. That was fast. Didn't even have to cut the video. Uh, so we will go to the flow log and browse it. And we'll give this a nice refresh here. If we didn't get it that way, what we can do is click on go to resource. It's just not showing up in the list just yet. Flow logs allow you to view information ingress and ingress from your network security groups. Um, we already filled all this in. So that back screen did not work very well when I hit that go to resource. So we'll go back to here. Now it shows up, we'll click into here. Uh, it's showing us the same thing again. Not sure why. Storage account is connected there. I click into it. It's trying to edit it. Uh, maybe maybe we'll just checkbox it on here and go NSG view. Nope. Uh, <laughs> give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Okay. So for some reason, I was thinking there was some way to uh, or view that uh, flow data right within here, but it's not. They just put it in storage accounts. So if we want to access that data, we're going to just go to storage accounts and you can just open it in your Explorer here. And then from there, what I did, and uh, this is actually a lot harder than you think. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning here just to give you an experience of what it's like. But you would go into your blob containers. Uh, that's the one we stored it in. And then you just click, 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 click. <laughs> and you click forever until you can reach a JSON file. If it ever, ever gets there. Um, I know it's really deep. And there it is. And so if we were just to take that file and, um, whoops. If we were just to uh, open, download that file, it will not let me drag out tabs today. I'll just close these other ones here. Anyway, if we were to download that file and you can just hit the download on there and you open it up, 
Uh, it is a bit of a weird format, so I had just formatted it using uh, pretty JSON. This is what it looks like. And so we have this tuples data, which you're not going to be able to do much with, but it just shows you how it's, uh, you see like inbound and uh, outbound, allow and deny and things like that. You really would want to ingest this data into like something like Grafana or uh, Elastic, like Elastic Search, or some, or last, like the Elastic Stack, or Gray Logs, or even into Traffic Analytics. I'd love to show you Traffic Analytics today, and we did enable it, but for whatever reason, Traffic Analytics is just giving me a lot of trouble, and it's not really a high priority right now, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, but yeah, that is your NSG Flow Logs, and we'll just move on to something else here.